tracking all of these elements. It's tracking my eyes, it's tracking my eyebrows, my face. Now if I zoom back out, then the puffer fish is looking, and if I move in and out, and I look around like this, and as I'm talking, and I say, you know, and I can then do things like, you know, I can say, hey, I'm a puffer fish. I'm a puffer fish. Um, so why is it doing the, why did it do the puffer bit? And how is it doing the mouth shapes? How does it know what mouth shapes to do? So I can do, if you're all very quiet for a minute, you have to be very quiet for two seconds. See how I smile? You see how I smile? Yeah. And it, yeah. <laughs> and then it can do all the voice and the, and the things. How does it know how to do that? I'm going to go back to the puppet and you look across here at the mouth. If I open up the mouth, you see it's got neutral, it's got smile, it's got surprise, but then it's also got shapes for all of the ah, ooh, t, ch, w, ah. All of those shapes are different mouth shapes. They're called phonemes. And all of those different phonemes, you just draw a different shape for. And then the microphone hears your voice and it gives it the right mouth shape to do for the different phonemes. Okay, so that's that part. Remember, remember when I did it, I said, I'm a pufferfish, and it went like this. How did it, how did it do that? Well, inside my layers, I created, there's another layer in here called monster fish puffer. And if I turn that on, do you see that's the fat one over here? But how did I make it happen when I was talking? I hit the Z thing. Because it has bracket, Z, exclamation, bracket. Just on, on the name of the layer. All I have to do is name a layer, put the thing at the end and, and put a key in there, and that's the key for it. So all I do is when I'm playing him, let's go back to the scene and say, and I make sure the scene thing, and I go, I'm a pufferfish, and I just hit the Z key. And he goes, Z, Z, Z. And it's just the pufferfish side. So it's just swapping out. It knows, and because it's on the same layer as the other one, it knows that when this one's on, this one should go off. So it automatically just knows that it should either because they're on the same level of layers. Yeah? Let me go back to those layers again and show you what I mean. So see how they're the same level, monster fish puffer, and this one. So if I close this one up, see how they're both the same level levels. Yeah? And if I open up this one, it's got the head, it's got the mouth, but it's got the same ones. It's just the, the, the big one. And I can do the Z. Okay. Well, um, what else can I do in here? Let's, um, let's actually go back to the scene. And I'm sort of talking away in here. Let me just select that. You'll notice that I can simply add behaviors. Now, I'll show you how to do this in a minute, how to add these behaviors. These are all like ones that are on there and I can change. So let's go and change. Is he looking a bit crazy? Oh, I'm a puffer fish. No. But if I come down here to breathe, you'll notice that one of the behaviors here is breathe. Let's open up the breathe behavior, and you'll notice I've got some parameters in here. Well, let's just make him like him. Oh, that's the minimum yeah. scale. Whoops, yeah. sorry. Let's pull that back to back to zero. Let's do the maximum scale, and let's make him breathe a little bit. <laughs> So now he's breathing, you know, but I've got, I've got like all these different different breaths. I can change the breathing direction, that'd be funny. Let's change the breathing direction around the... Uh, oh, it's just hours of, hours of fun. Um, also, I can add particle effects to it as well, to these characters. How do I add a particle effect? I've just... Oh, so let me show you how you do this effects first of all. I just select one of the fish, let's just select the fish here, and I can come across to these behaviours here, hit the plus key, and I've got all of these different types of behaviours that are all built in that I can add to it. Um, so what are some of these things that I can do in here? Well you saw the breathe one, but I've got particle effects, I've got mouse trackers, keyboard triggers, face things, dangles, wigglers, transforms, all of these things do different things to the characters. Let me show you. So if I come down here, I've created one on here. If I go back to this scene and I choose here, I can come in here, let's close up breathe. 
I've got one down here for particles. Yeah? I'm going to open up the particles, and what I'm going to do is, I, I don't know, do you remember I had the little bubble layer? So what I'm going to do with the bubble layer, I'm just going to turn it on, and you'll notice that here, this is literally like physics, like particle things. I can have it, I can have the wind blow it, I can have it fast or slow, accelerate, all these different things, wind, squash, stretch, bounciness, how many, randomness. I'm just going to turn it on. And now, I've got this little bubble coming out. <laughs> out of the mouth. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's stupid, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. I'm a puff of fish. So, so what I'm going to do... So I'm going to show you another one. This is one that I built. So actually years ago, many, 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 many years ago, and in fact, I think it was about mm, 1998, I built an application for, remember Flash? I built an application for Flash called Flash Amp. And Flash Amp 